everyone and today I have to make an announcement is that uh, video contents uh, I've been trying to keep it up to date and uh, free flowing during the time I've been saying I should actually revise uh, I did actually get you know contents ready before the exams so uh, I hope it did really make make up for the fact that I wasn't making any new videos during that meantime but now uh, I will just make this video and uh, tell you guys about some of the new updates I have to talk about. First of all, I've start. I'm going to start a new channel. Um, not like I'm going to drop this one. Uh, not at all. Um, that will run parallel. But because this one is more about gaming, I would like to make another one about tank history because I think. I can. I need to fix a lot of the misunderstandings about tanks and military stuff. Uh, since I, I just think that um, a lot of you guys might be interested in the history and uh, other things uh, about this type of things, but again, there there are issues uh, with American documentaries where they totally are bollocks. So I want to fix that. So uh, I need to make a new channel, and I need. A possible fan art. If you can make me like a banner for the YouTube, like an image saying uh, like tank history, uh, tank history channel or something like that, that would be great. And um, or give me some ideas as to what sort of things you would like to see on my uh, channel. Of course, uh, about history, st historical stuff. And I would like to basically show you guys as much as possible what I know about tanks and fix as many incorrect information from the internet as possible so T57 Heavy let's go back to this this thing is absolutely rock rocking rockingly good it, it's just no brainer to get this line at the moment I do not see a single reason why you don't want to grind it you want to go from the light tank line however since the the medium line which you do have to get the T69 that line I don't recommend it at all I recommend just playing the Walker Bulldog because the Walker Bulldog is way better than the uh, than the T71 although the T71 is OP as, hell, as, OP as well but it's not as good as the Walker Bulldog not even close so play the Walker Bulldog then you got something called the T49 which is like KV2 on on tracks uh, on light tank chassis so yeah I would kind of recommend you to to play that line way more than the other uh, then you got to the OP 10 i medium the T 54 E1 and I'll try to get the lower play of the E 75 but nah it wouldn't connect so it's got a plant one shot maybe into a Fosh mm, I was thinking about it but nah not gonna waste my shot and health point trading with the Fosh. Uh, we have to wait and already 4.5k damage. If you didn't notice, this thing can absolutely sh wreck opponents because this thing actually has a really f good reload uh, for this kind of uh, alpha. As you can see, 20 second is not bad at all. It's like a KV2 reload basically, but instead you do like what is it? F how much damage is this? 400. I believe 400 or something. Yeah, 400 times 4, so you got 1600, so 1600 damage in one clip, which means you can instantly vaporize any tier 8, providing you pen all of them, which isn't hard. But you just gotta make sure those dodgy shots do connect, and you can just literally destroy anyone. And uh, tier 9 TDs, yeah, you can clip them as well, so. It's OP as hell. Uh, it's got some weird kind of armor profile. Will bounce a bit, now, uh, but don't rely on it. Uh, and uh, yeah, it pretty sums it up by just it, this tank doesn't have that great of accuracy, but it will hit the target nonetheless. And it's just uh, totally cheating, you know, playing this type of tank. 6k damage and uh, 5 kills. Uh, and didn't even feel like it was even that hard, <laughs> to be honest. And uh, so I, I was talking about the channel I was gonna make. I was thinking about the background sound and all of them effects. If you guys got any ideas, and also if you guys want to make an intro for me, that would be very kind indeed. 
so we'll see you next time and um, keep updated about my I will keep you guys updated about my channel and then we'll see we'll see what happens in two weeks time